Absolutely. All right. Um, if applicable, uh, what do you remember about moving into the dorm? Did you have a roommate? Was she someone you already knew? And what was your first encounter like? Oh, Aaron. My roommate here is the first time I met her here. She was from California. Of course, I was from Minnesota. And what I remember about her, she was a dear gal. My birthday, I came in about the first part of September. My birthday was in the middle of September. She had a pizza party for me. I had never had pizza before. So that was quite an experience <laughs> for me and enjoyed it and got to meet all these other guests. My roommate was my friend from, and she was a year ahead of us. And um, we, since our class was so big, we'd have these pizza parties or different kind of parties and half of them ended up in our room. But I, I had one step ahead because I knew someone and she could kind of teach me the ropes and it was great. Yeah. <clears throat> I roomed with a girl from Glendale. I hadn't met her before, but I roomed with her for about two years and then they had a different roommate and uh, we all kept together and there were yeah. ten of us that lived in the same uh, area and, and we became oh. all friends. Yep. really close friends and celebrated a lot of occasions together, birthdays and so forth. Yeah. Uh, now that you mention it, how was the social life in the dorms? Oh, oh, oh we had a ball. I mean, <laughs> she, oh, it's we could sneak. She was a party animal. <laughs> I heard. I heard. <laughs> we, they would bring a night basket over for the girls that worked on PMs and nights, and they could have some. And we would, you could sneak down the back stairs. And, and sneak in maybe and get some of the stuff that was left over and haul it up to your room. And of course you weren't allowed to have food in your room and you weren't allowed to cook in your room. But if you raised the window and set the food on the outside, pulled the window down, it stayed cold during the night. And then you could get up and if you were sm if you had a hidden hot plate and you could cook a can of soup or you could make some cocoa. Oh, you didn't yeah. do that, did you? I Burned a hole in the rug. I'm not sure. We sure did. That's a wonder you weren't booted out. <laughs> we bought, we, the maid loved us and we bought um, little throw rugs to put in front of each, each different uh, bureau of drawers so that the, whole, the little burn spot didn't show. <laughs> First time I've told that in 57 years. Oh, there you go. <laughs> yeah. Then we had this other one that we also had for uh, entertainment. We had the TV downstairs. Oh, yeah. And do you remember how we used to go down there and watch Liberace? Yeah. Yeah. All of us would jam in there and watch Liberace and enjoy that all the time. Oh, and more more halls of popping. Oh, more halls we, of popping. Every year yes. we put on more. The whole school sure. would do more more halls of popping, right. and we didn't. Yeah, big variety show and all kind. Oh, that was fun. That was fun. Fun, fun, fun. I think we sold tickets, and oh, yeah. that was all <coughs> to make money for the students. Yeah, yes. the student uh, alum, uh, student fund, and, and yeah. our families would come or different ones yeah. than that, and that was. And then we gave a dance one time and invited the fellows from the mortuary down the street. <laughs> <laughs> had a great party there. <laughs> and another time we had a bunch of guys from Caltech, Caltech. that came yeah, over. Right. Yeah. And, and we had a party in the lobby of the, because our, our room had been a converted hotel. Yeah. So we had the lobby and all that stuff. And so yeah, so there was only two people to a room. You had your own private bath. It was small, but you had your own well. private bath. And, that was really and nice. the... Uh, the Caltech thing was set up because of Gloria. Yeah. Gloria and Johnny, whom I also had grown up with. Johnny was at Caltech, and we got this party, and all the Caltech gals, guys came over. They wanted to dance with all these real wonderful nurses. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Um, so let's see. What are some of your favorite memories of time spent in the library? What's her name, Mrs. Baker? Miss Baker? What was the librarian's name? I can't remember. We had to check in with her at night when we came in, the house mother, and she was oh, the Miss Adams. Miss Adams. Adams, Adams and Ad Toy. Miss Adams and Miss Toy. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, our social life was a little curtailed because we had four late nights a month and two overnights. And so a late night was 10 o'clock or 10.30, and an overnight you could go home to your parents. Or That wasn't until the end. You only got one. You beginning? only got one overnight in the beginning. Did you? I yeah. Don't and of course you couldn't be married. No. And uh, a couple of our gals else? got married in the last few months quiet? and they sure. were, some oh. were ejected and some kept no. it quiet. You couldn't have your ears pierced. 
So I wore Band-Aids on my ears for forever. I don't uh, a lot of things you couldn't do. Oh, and your hair. Yes. Of course, never had hair on the neck. Touch on the neck, on yeah. the collar. <laughs> Always had to have a hair and neck. Every Something time to I see somebody doing a surgical hair. prep and yeah. in, in the pre-op area and the hair is dripping down on there, I go, no, no <laughs> hair hanging down. You yep. had to be up in yep. the neck. But speaking of social times, too, of course, then we all had boyfriends now and then. Why? I remember Wally. <laughs> <laughs> we all remember so <laughs> Wally. He always was going to go into the army, so I always had to have that weekend off because he was going to leave. It was Wally's yeah, last, last weekend. weekend, and they still tease me about that after <laughs> all these years. Anyway, so many times we'd be outside there in the in the car in the lot there, you know, over uh -huh. the parking lot, and then to hurry in, of course, just get in before the door would close because as Adam and also you had to ring the bell, and that was a no-no. Yep, it was. So we had good times. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Different. <laughs> uh, so, where were you living before you came to California Hospital? Well, I lived in International Falls, Minnesota, and came out to Riverside, and then came on Sunday, and I came in on a Wednesday, and Sunday I came into training. What was your first impression of Southern California when you came? Hot. <laughs> we got here off the train, and it was August 31st, the last day, oh, and it was hot. I said I was ready to turn around and get back on that train again. But now since I've lived here all that time, I enjoyed it and I liked California. Well, since my father was in the service and we were in San Diego, we had been trying to get over to, to Hawaii where he was stationed. And of course, so long came the war. 1941, so we were in San Diego, so that's where I came from. So. Los Angeles was no different than being in LA. A little bit, little busier, <laughs> but but not as much because we had so many service down there. Yeah. So, well, I lived in in Glendale. My parents uh, had a home in Glendale, and then uh, I would travel home back and forth on the bus. And then after I graduated, I lived here for a little while, and I bought a car, and I learned to drive on the as they were building the freeways oh. back and forth. That's, and they were building the freeways. Yep. There weren't a lot of freeways through town. Speaking of that, do you remember your um, if you had cars while you were attending? Oh, or? no. I, Kay Burnham had a car. Oh, did yeah. you? Kay had a car. Her father was a physician, and she had a car, and she used to take it to, to SC because yeah. she went to SC, yeah. but she yeah. was about the only one that had a car. I didn't right. even drive. My, I didn't either. Folks would bring me back and forth, or a friend would. We'd go to church Sunday night, and then a friend from church would bring me down there. I learned to drive when I was, well, I knew how to drive, but I got my driver's license when I was in training. Did you? Yeah. I waited. So. All right. Uh, what was downtown Los Angeles like when you first arrived? Or, you know, <laughs> it was downtown. so that we could walk downtown and go to the movies. Yeah. We would walk downtown and go to dinner and the movies, and I have a menu from a really nice restaurant, and the most expensive thing on the menu was lo lobster thermidor, and it was two ninety eight. <laughs> And, yes. a, and five dollars would buy you dinner and a show, or food, you know, a, a sandwich or a meal and a, and a movie. Movies were three bucks, I think, the yeah. most. Yeah, and you could walk any place. And I did walk a lot of places because you'd want to get out of the dorm at night and just kind of walk around and think. I walked till I saw a man climbing over a fence and start to follow me, and I thought, well... That's the end of the walking. This is not the place to be walking. <laughs> if you walk down... Figueroa, I guess it was okay because you were, it was nice and light, and but otherwise you didn't. And we um, had the, the, the street cars. Yeah, that's right. The, yeah, the, the street car went oh, on people. Wonderful. So for, I lived in Riverside, that's where my family was. So I had to take the bus here unless my boyfriend or my, no, my husband that uh, brought me. Otherwise, then and we'd get off at the bus. I would get off at the bus station and walk and never think really much about it. Mm -hmm. It was. Yeah. You just didn't think about anything no. that could happen. It just it was there. That was there. We just walked. That's it. All right. Uh, so, in your opinions, uh, what is the best thing about nursing to you? The, what we need is the durable satisfactions of a nursing career. <laughs> <laughs> there was a, a teacher good. here named Lenore Tobins, and uh, we didn't have this when we were in training. But I worked for with her uh, as her assistant 
when she was teaching, and she made the students learn the durable satisfactions of a nursing career. And I don't remember it all because I didn't have to learn it, and, but I made the other kids learn it. But you could work any place, you could get a job anytime you wanted, you could take care of your family, you could take care of the president, you could take care of anybody, and uh, you could do so many different things. It was an open door to a career for a lifetime. Of lifetime career. Many times. Absolutely. I'm going to be 80 in August. Up until two years ago, I was receiving letters from the Army, from the other services, from all kinds of places. I could have a job anytime, any place, wherever I wanted to go. And I finally wrote back and said, I don't think you want this whole broad working for you. <laughs> I used to get telephone calls when I told them. That but right. I worked, I gave flu shots and did that. Oh, I did. Oh, yeah, you did all that kind of stuff. You still find out, even though if you didn't work or if you did work, I, mean, I did the same thing, give all the flu shots or the little I, little cube or uh, sock yeah, for the polio. Yeah, totally. Anyway, I worked in a urology department in Riverside, and after I retired in 95, I still keep every time. When are you coming back to work? When are you coming back to work? <laughs> and it, he said, you know, it's a difference. The girls that come in now, they don't have that, well, the know-how or whatever they yes. could call that to know, get this done and that done, and it's all kind of like bookwork, or I mean, it's just all in order. And they said they kind of come and they kind of look around, they don't know what to do. Yeah. And I said, that's one thing I think our training really definitely. taught us, yeah. definitely, was, to know what to do yeah. it was in an depth. office or whatever. Yeah. 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 It was the depth of the training and, yeah. uh, and the basic principles of nursing. Right. Right. And after I, after I retired, I went and got my teaching credential and went back and taught nursing in high school. I did a, a rope class, and my biggest achievement was I had 15 of my students go into nursing and one go into respiratory therapy. And that was pretty good for high school kids. I'm proud of them. I want to interrupt you all right here to make sure you guys get some food. Okay. Oh! We need it. Or do you have anything else? Uh, uh, just one last sure. thing. Uh, why should we remember the California has, uh, Hospital School of Nursing? Oh. What was the question? Why should we remember the California Hospital School of Nursing? Because that's where we because it was Class A. They ha they you could go any place and any state after we graduated and say where you came from and you were accepted with open arms. They didn't say, oh well, you better do this and so or take another class or anything. It was great. We when can you start work? We had yeah. reciprocity yes. of all the states in the United States. Yes.